What's going on everybody? I hope you're all having another fantastic day today. You can call me Spree and welcome back to another Madden 20 video. Today I want to go ahead and break down some of the best promos from Madden 20. Now I think there are some that stand out as being the absolute best, some that I think would be great to see in Madden 21 again. We are inching our way closer and closer to the new game, to Madden 21, and I am so, so hyped to be able to get back into Madden Ultimate Team. In just over a week we'll have some Madden Ultimate Team news. A couple days later you'll be able to play with EA Access. A few days after that you will get full access with the MVP edition before of course being able to play the game I think on the 27th or 28th so I'm hyped for it it's getting really really close over this next little bit before we get news for Madden 21 specifically for Madden Ultimate Team I want to be having a look back at what Madden 20 has been like seeing if we can learn and pick up on some things hopefully we'll be able to see next year as well as always a couple of matters of business before we jump into the video first up we do have that golden ticket Bo Jackson giveaway again for play session but if you do want to enter the draw for that giveaway let me know in the comment section below what were your favorite promos in Madden 20 that you would like to see come back into the game again next year we're going to be breaking down a bunch of my thoughts in this video but I want to hear what you guys are thinking what will get you guys excited about Madden 21 I also want to take the time to thank all of you for all of the support I know it is so far into Madden 20 people are done with the game but seeing people still coming through checking out the videos giving that support man it means a lot so thank you very much for all of you for coming through if you have already gone ahead and hit that subscribe button definitely go ahead and do so we're going to be grinding we're going to be pushing Madden 21 is going to be a huge year and we are going to do our best to be a part of that so definitely make sure you're hitting that subscribe button so you can see the big things that we will be doing in Madden 21 pretty sure that's everything let's get now today we're going to start here looking at this set it's cool to go back and have a look at some of the promos that we've had throughout the year Obviously Madden 20 is a little bit of a blip compared to most years. There are a bunch of promos, some of my favorites as well that we weren't able to get this year. I'm a big fan of positional heroes, position heroes, pos position, positional, position. Every year we get some super glitchy cards from that promo, so it's a shame we weren't able to get that this year, but we did get a lot of promos, a lot of good quality ones, a lot of super interesting ones, like the NFL 100 that were specific to Madden 20. Let's go ahead and talk about some of my favorites. The first promo on this list is going to be Mark Harris. I love this promo. We had so many glitchy players from every single team. A whole lot of great players across a lot of positions. You got challenges, the chance to be able to pick a fantasy player. That was great. They also had house rules. You had a chance to pick up another player. Super, super easy way to get some really, really good cards and they were really affordable from the get-go. Jamal Adams, Saquon Barkley, Jalen Ramsey, lots of super, super glitchy cards, top tier cards that were accessible for everyone, could get a bunch for free. I love this promo, I'd love to see something like it. Doesn't have to be the same name, but something like it in Madden 21. One of the other dope things I thought about this promo is they brought in a bunch of really dope limited time cards. We had Aaron Donald, Jadavion Clowney, Kittle, who else do we have? Alvin Kamara, just a whole lot of cards that actually people wanted. Obviously when the new series came out, we also got to get them as Redux as well. So I think they just did a good job of something quite early in the process this might have been October time I think if I'm correct we got a chance to just pick up a whole lot of really good cards they weren't crazy expensive a lot of people added them to the team it was fun having guys like this being able to pick a whole lot of different players so I want to see a promo like this again in Madden 21 for sure next up we've got the Madden Ultimate Team 10 promo it was such a dope promo 10 weeks new players I think the thing I love most about this promo is every single one of the players that came out was the best card at that particular position at the time that came out. All the cards were super glitchy, they were limited time obviously, but they got Redux cards later. You also had to do those challenges each week and you got the chance to get a free one, a free fantasy one at the end. Now if I remember correctly, this particular promo was to celebrate the decade of Madden, a whole lot of the glitchy cards that came out. Obviously that might not be so applicable for the next game, but this is the kind of thing I want to see. I want to see some creativity, a chance to get some really, really good cards. So I thought they did a good job with this. On a very similar note, the NFL 100 cards, obviously 100 years of the NFL, very, very specific. You can't do NFL 101 next year. It's not quite the same, but we want to see some really cool promos like this. This is just a great chance to get a whole lot of legend players, a whole lot of high overall cards as well quite accessible, quite easy to get as well. I thought this was a really, really cool promo. We just got a whole lot of legends that we were waiting for. 
I want to see stuff like this in Madden 21 again. Next up, we've got the Zero Chill promo, and this is one that I think is a pretty safe bet to see again. They always have something surrounding Christmas. It might have a different name, but it's going to have a similar theme. You get so many different types of cards, lots of glitchy cards, limited times. We get the training re-rolls, lots of players, lots of challenges. It's just a great chance, a good time of the year. That's when a lot of new players are coming into the game as well. They just push out a whole lot of different content. Zero Chill is going to be another good promo for Madden 21, I'm sure. Diving in and having a look at some of the players that came out. Terry McLaurin, there's that Brian Burns, JJ Watt, Patrick Mahomes. That was a glitchy card. I had that for a while. Michael Vick, Bo Jackson, Nick Bosa. Look at all these crazy, crazy cards. Patrick Willis, that Patrick Willis was a crazy card. That was such a good card all the way through, probably for most of the year, up until he got that upgrade. I just think they did a good job with this. This is what we want. Lots of really, really good players. Lots of chances to pick up a whole lot of the players as well. Now, I think you could completely forget about all the players that you get, and I think a lot of people still have a lot of fun with this promo because of the gifts, because of the presents. There's a lot of anticipation and fun that goes into trying to pick up presents, trying to buy the right ones, trying to figure out what cards are going to come out of it. It's a fun, fun part of the game, so I'm sure they're gonna keep going with it. It's a money maker for them, you know. You know they love seeing people invest in it. It's a great way to get people in the game, so for sure we're gonna see presents again in a Zero Chill promo, Ultimate Freeze, whatever they wanna call that. I'm sure we'll be seeing it again in Man 21. Now I've just realized I've kind of gone in the order that these things came out throughout the year, so I'm gonna stick with that. Next up we have the Team of the Year doing the challenges for Team of the Week every single week. You got the chance to get yourself a free Team of the Year player. We had challenges, so you had another chance to do it. Overall, these cards were really, really easy to get. These sets were also super, super dope. This was back when we had the Gingerbread set. You had the chance to just pick up and create a whole bunch of 91s, 92s, 93s. Did these sets quite a lot. They also had the chance to turn from training into a player. So we had the full cards, you had the NAT cards. I did a bunch of the NAT rolls until I got all the guys I wanted. Overall, I think, of course, we're gonna have this again next year. But I just love how you get the chance to get a whole team's worth of players. There's a whole lot of players, a whole lot of different positions, lots of people represented. I just love to see a whole lot of good players get dropped in the game for a whole lot of people to add to their teams. Next up, we've got to talk Color Smash, and this was my favorite promo throughout the entire year. I thought the players that they had in it were pretty average, right? Barry Sanders was a good card. They also had the Ed Reed, a lot of the lower tier cards cards that people didn't want. This promo also had the eggs. Now there's a lot of anticipation after the zero chill gifts. A lot of people invested a lot into these eggs and they didn't pay out that greatly, but there were a few good ones amongst that. But the thing that everyone will remember from this promo is the chance to make mega, mega bank. I didn't really go hard into the coin making method right until the end of it, but I probably made eight to nine million coins doing this promo. Jumping in and having a look at these sets, as you can see, I made myself 69 Barry Sanders, 72 Ed Reed. It was so, 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 so good. Training rerolls over and over and over again for hours, trying to do these sets, trying to build up 96s, trading those 96s for the cards that you wanted to complete this set. This is the first time I've seen the trade block get used so well in the community. Every single year people find glitchy ways to make a whole bunch of coins. I have no doubt it will happen again in Madden 21. Now overall this promo was pretty average, but because of this, how many coins people were able to make, I definitely have fond memories of it. So we're going to see something like this promo again next year. Hopefully the eggs are a little bit better maybe. Maybe they've got more players, better players, but the main thing to remember is there are going to be glitchy coin making methods that come up across maybe just a random promo. Someone will find it and there will be a way to make a whole lot of coins. So we're excited for that. I would want to get amongst that making those coins. It makes a big difference, especially for those of us grinding for those no money spent teams. Last but definitely not least, we have the golden ticket promo. Everyone was hyped to see this back in Madden 20. Obviously, those challenges to actually pick up a golden ticket it wasn't the easiest to get into. People were worried that they didn't actually get a chance. But in the end, the cards that were created, a lot of them were super glitchy. 
The thing I loved about these ones in particular this year, they weren't limited time, they had increased odds, but they were pullable throughout the entire year. Personally, I thought that was a huge, huge W. For the rest of the year, whenever you open packs, there is a chance, a very small chance, but a chance that you could pull something crazy like a golden ticket. Every time you're opening packs, you're always having a little bit of hope that something like this is going to come out of your pack. So I think it's really important to have things like that to keep the game interesting, especially if you want to stop dropping content for it a couple months before you should have. I for sure hope they bring back golden tickets. I want them to keep them from being limited times as well. I like the boosted odds, but I want to see them in packs. It just means they're a bit more accessible. Obviously, they were crazy expensive when they first came out. But later on, fan appreciation packs brought down the prices. You had the chance to get one free golden ticket from doing the solo challenges. You got one from finishing all of the journeys. And you also had one for completing Mutt Masters. So there are a lot of ways to get these golden tickets. These cards are the best cards in the game, so they are deservedly expensive. But... I think for a lot of people they were actually fairly accessible so we want to see this promo again i had a lot of fun doing it obviously seeing those gears is amazing i definitely want to go ahead and try my best to see it at least one more time in this game and just like that that is going to be my favorite promos from madden 20. looking back over everything i think there are a few themes i really like when they drop a whole lot of really good players that are accessible for everyone so team of the year we have the mutt heroes as well i think they did a good job with those we also have the really creative promos so you've got things like the madden ultimate team 10 NFL 100, something that's very specific to the year. You get a chance to bring in a whole lot of new players as well. So I thought they did a good job with those. Any opportunity to be glitchy, make a whole lot of coins, anything with gifts or eggs that people can get excited about. Everyone loves that little bit of extra excitement around some of the promos. And of course, golden tickets. Everyone loves golden tickets. We want golden tickets again. Maybe next year will be the year I finally pull a golden ticket and maybe we can share that experience with everyone. I just really hope Madden 21 lives up to everyone's expectations. They gave up on this game a little bit early. Hopefully, that meant they could focus on the next game, making sure it was as good as possible. That's what we're hoping for anyway. I want to see Madden 21 be an absolutely dope game. Hopefully, it is the best Madden to date, and hopefully we can have a crazy big year as we grind through it, as we grow and you're gonna be along on the journey with me the whole entire way. Quick reminder before we finish up, we do have that golden ticket giveaway. Make sure you're popping down to the comment section below to go ahead and enter it. Thank you very much for coming through. I do appreciate all of you guys still coming through at the end of the year. We are so close to Madden 21. We are so hyped for it. Thank you very much again for coming through. Take it easy everyone. You can call me Spree and we out.